Hi everyone, this is Abdul. Welcome back to the Cython series on Pythonist. Most of the things we have learned about dynamic and static typing can be applied to functions as well. So let's understand some basic things about functions in Python and C. Functions in both of these languages have some common attributes. Like both usually have a name, take zero or more arguments, and can return new values or objects when called. But Python functions are very flexible and powerful. They are first class citizens. A general Python function can be created both at import time and dynamically at runtime. It can be created anonymously using the lambda keyword. It can be defined inside the other function like a nested function. Python functions can also return from another function. And we can pass it as an argument to other functions. It can take positional or keyword arguments. And also, we can define Python functions with the default values. Now, let's talk about the general C function. We can pass it as an argument to other functions, but it cannot be defined inside other functions. They have a statically assigned name that is not modifiable. C functions can take positional arguments only, and it doesn't support default values for parameters. But keep in mind that all of the power and flexibility of Python functions comes at a cost. Python functions are several orders of magnitude slower than C functions, even functions that take no arguments. Fortunately, Cython supports both Python and C functions and allows them to call each other in a natural and straightforward way, all in the same source file. That's what we are going to cover in our next video. I hope you really enjoyed the video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any fantastic video in the future. Thanks for watching.